Your hair in order will include this top rated carpet cleaner, cleaning solution, and an upholstery cleaning attachment. If you have the wide antimicrobial tool, you can use either a rubber insert for difficult stain removal or the bristle insert for routine scrubbing. To achieve the best results, begin by thoroughly vacuuming your floor. Next, be sure to pre-treat stains with the solution of your choice and allow the solution to sit for 5 to 10 minutes. While the pre-treating solution sits, fill the clean water tank with warm water and be sure to replace the cap. Press the water tank firmly back into place. Next, fill the solution tank with the provided solution, then press that tank firmly back in place as well. Plug the carpet cleaner into a grounded outlet, step on the handle release pedal on the right to recline the unit, then press the on pedal on the left to start. As you slowly move forward, the cleaner will dispense an optimal amount of water and cleaning solution. To extract the water from the carpet, slowly pull the carpet cleaner back. Stubborn stains may need a few passes. When you're done cleaning, you can press the dry only button to extract excess water. This will expedite the drying process. To use the accessories, start by placing the carpet cleaner in the upright position to turn off the brush rollers. To clean upholstery your stairs, firmly insert the hose into the connection port. Next, connect the upholstery tool by sliding it onto the connector until it locks into place. Hold the solution trigger to saturate the area. Then, while still holding the trigger, press the tool into the carpet and pull back slowly. This is called a wet stroke. Now, without holding the trigger, press the tool into the carpet and pull back slowly again. This is a dry stroke. Alternating wet and dry strokes help to avoid oversaturation. When you're finished with the upholstery tools, turn off the machine and press the trigger on the tool to ensure all fluid has been emptied. Push the release button on the left side of the hose and pull gently to disconnect it from the cleaner. Close the hose port door tightly to ensure proper suction. And lastly, to remove the tool, use your thumb to push forward and up on the latch. To empty the dirty water tank, turn off and unplug the carpet cleaner. Grab the colored handle on the dirty water tank, pull up to release, and pull it out at an angle. Next, you'll unlatch the lid to remove the top of the tank and empty the water. Make sure the red filter is clean of debris every time you empty the dirty water tank. And that's it. As easy as vacuuming. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. We're here to help. Good luck cleaning.